So that's the conclusion of the lesson. We have a few extra minutes before the bell rings, so go ahead and take some time to do your homework. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Wow, look at this mark board. There's something different about it. Oh look, we have exit tickets on here. Well, we've got 10 extra minutes. Let's do a quick exit ticket. Grab your laptops and you're going to give me three, two, one. Three facts, two questions, and one opinion. This will let me know what you know and what we might still need to work on next time. To use exit tickets in your classroom, go to your smart board and open the whiteboard. Once on the whiteboard, there's a little plus on the bottom left hand corner that you would use to get a new page. Click on that little plus and you'll see the exit ticket option is now listed. If you don't have this, check your board for updates. Here are your options for exit tickets. These are essentially shouted out, but they've been pre-created for you so you can quickly use them with your students. I chose facts and questions for my example. Once it opens, click Start for Class so your students can join and it will begin collecting responses. To have your students join, click on the People icon on the top left-hand corner. This brings up a screen with the instructions to join. Students are going to go to hellosmart.com and use the class code provided. Your class code will be different than mine. Your students are able to log in using their student email address or if you choose, you can let them join as a guest. The student screen will look like this. Students can choose to answer three facts, two questions, or one opinion. They'll click on the one they want to answer, type their answer, and submit their response. You can see they have a total of six responses among these categories. As the students submit their responses, they'll show up in the correct category. To make a response bigger, simply click on the response and it will make it large so it's easy to see. Click on the X to make it small again. The student responses can be drug around and sorted into categories so you can use this for your instruction. Once you are comfortable with the login process, this is a quick way to do a five minute assessment at the end of class. Even if you don't have a smart panel in your room, you can still use many of these resources by going to ClassLink and clicking on Lumio. You'll log in using your email address at osceola.k12.fl.us. Once you're in Lumio, click on New, and you'll see they have a lot of pre-made activities you can use with your students, and these can be used with student computers and your projectors that are in your rooms. Lumio has a lot of great new features that can be accessed on the teacher laptop or the smart panel. Be sure to check them out.